Stealth technology has revolutionized modern warfare, allowing aircraft to evade radar detection and strike deep into enemy territory with minimal risk. The development of stealth aircraft has progressed significantly since the first operational stealth attack aircraft, the F-117 Nighthawk, to the latest NGAD, which represents the future of stealth aviation. This evolution has been shaped by advancements in low observable design, radar absorbing materials, electronic warfare, and multi domain integration. The F 117 Nighthawk. This was the world's first operational stealth aircraft developed by Lockheed Martin under the Secretive Skunk Works program. First flown in 1981 and introduced into service in 1983, the F-117 was designed to evade enemy radar through its unique angular shape and radar-absorbing materials. Unlike traditional jet fighters, the F-117 prioritized stealth over speed and maneuverability, making it highly effective for precision strike missions. The Nighthawks pilots called themselves bandits. It played a crucial role in Operation Desert Storm 1991 in Operation Allied Force 1999, successfully penetrating enemy air defenses undetected. The F-117 has an RCS around 0.001 square meter. However, as stealth technology advanced, the F-117 became outdated, leading to its retirement in 2008. Some aircraft remained in limited use for training and, and testing. The B-2 Spirit it is renowned for its advanced stealth capabilities, which were revolutionary at the time of its introduction in 1997. The design reduces the aircraft's radar cross-section by minimizing sharp angles and surfaces that could reflect radar waves. It is reported RCS is about 0.1 square meter, making it hard to detect even by modern radar systems. The B-2 also incorporates radar-absorbing materials, including carbon graphite composites, to absorb radar energy and enhance its low observable capabilities. Its internal weapons bay avoids the need for external pylons, further reducing its radar signature. The aircraft is coated with anti-reflective paint and boundary layer suction is used to minimize thermal signatures. To preserve its stealth features, the B-2 is stored in specialized climate-controlled hangars. Tight engineering tolerances ensure that radar leaks are minimized, maximizing stealth performance. These advanced stealth technologies allow the B-2 to penetrate heavily defended airspaces and conduct both nuclear and conventional strikes with minimal risk of interception. The Lockheed F-22 Raptor Entering service in 2005, it is designed for minimal radar detection with several stealth features. These include airframe shaping, continuous curvature, and internal weapon base to reduce radar cross-section. The F-22 uses radar absorbent materials and employs serpentine inlets and curved vanes to shield engine components from radar. Its infrared signature is minimized by flat thrust vectoring nozzles and active cooling systems. The aircraft is less dependent on RAM than previous stealth designs, reducing maintenance requirements. The F-22's RCS is reported as low as 0.0001 square meter, roughly equivalent to radar reflection of a steel marble. While effective against high-frequency radars, low-frequency radars may still detect it. A signature assessment system monitors and ensures the radar signature remains optimal. Its maintenance flexibility allows repairs in standard hangars, minimizing downtime. These features help the F-22 evade radar-based interception and improve operational readiness. Up next is the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which entered service in 2015. Its design incorporates aligned edges, continuous curvature, and serrated skin panels to reduce RCS, which is reported as low as 0.005 square meter. The engine phase and turbine are shielded to avoid radar detection and the divertless supersonic inlet further reduces radar signature. The F-35's RCS is comparable to that of the F-22 in some conditions and is lower than a metal golf ball at certain frequencies. The aircraft uses radar-absorbent fiber matte skin, requiring less maintenance than older materials. It also reduces infrared and visual signatures, controlling radio frequency emissions. The F-35 Stealth is particularly effective against high-frequency X-band radars, though low-frequency radars may detect it. It can also mount Lundberg lens reflectors to further disguise its RCSS. 
Despite concerns over noise, studies show it's comparable to other fighters like the F-16. Up next is the Chengdu J-20, which entered service in 2017. The J-20 employs a comprehensive stealth design, combining canard wings, leading-edge root extensions, and a chint form body for reduced radar cross-section. It diverts less supersonic inlets (DSI) with a serpentine duct's obscure engine reflections, improving stealth. The aircraft features a flat fuselage, internal weapons bay, sawtooth edges, and radar absorbent materials. Despite concerns about canards affecting stealth, the design achieves significant low observability, with improvements over time. The serrated WS-10C engine and new nozzles further enhance rear aspect stealth. Composite materials and controlled counter deflection contribute to reduced RCS. The J-20 stealth is superior to the Su-57 in the frontal aspect, but still lags behind the F-35, particularly in rear visibility. Up next is the Sukhoi Su-57, which entered service in 2020. The Su-57 is Russia's first stealth-focused aircraft utilizing various methods to reduce its radar cross-section. Similar to the F-22, the aircraft's platform edges are aligned to minimize radar reflection, with wings and control surfaces having carefully angled edges. It carries weapons internally and antennas are recessed to maintain a sleek, stealthy shape. Radar-absorbing materials are applied to absorb radar emissions. The infrared sensor housing is turned backward and coated with a RAM when not in use. The engine's RCS is reduced by partially serpentine ducts and RAM coatings. The canopy is treated with a metal oxide layer to reduce radar return by 30% and protect against UV and thermal radiation. The aircraft's RCS is 30 times smaller than the Su-27, with an estimated RCS between 0.1 to 1 square meter. The Su-57 emphasizes frontal stealth, with the most significant RCS-reducing features in the forward hemisphere. The aft fuselage, however, is less optimized for stealth due to cost and operational doctrine considerations. Its stealth is effective against super-high-frequency radars, but more susceptible to low-frequency radars like those from weather or early warning systems. Up next is the Northrop Grumman B-21 radar, which had its first flight in 2023. The B-21 radar stealth features include a design that minimizes its radar cross-section through a combination of stealth, shape, and radar-absorbent materials. The RCS is expected to be significantly smaller than that of the B-2 Spirit, potentially around 0.01 square meter, or lower, enhancing its low observable capabilities. The B-21 incorporates advanced shaping and coatings for reduced infrared emissions. Its design focuses on evading detection by both high-frequency and low-frequency radars. Its internal weapon bays further contribute to its stealth, as external hardpoints would otherwise increase the radar signature. The B-21's advanced materials and design improvements make it highly difficult to track by radar. Next, we have the next-generation air dominance aircraft. This is not in service yet, but it is designed with advanced stealth features incorporating cutting-edge materials and design elements to minimize radar cross-section. Most of its stealth capabilities are classified, but it is expected to be significantly more stealthy than any current aircraft. Hmm, can't wait for this. As the program progresses, stealth characteristics will continue to improve. With this, the buzz is signing off for today. And we'll see you again, guys, in our next video, so stay tuned. Until then, bye-bye.